Hey guys, welcome to Rumor Wave, a show where we talk about all types of rumors that are out there, whether it's for the, the Switch or the Xbox One or PS4, and we kind of talk about them and see what's going on out there in the rumor mill. So the first rumor today comes from Game, which is an online distributor for people over in the UK who buy video games and systems and everything. Well, they actually put up a page for Splatoon 2, and they listed a release date. So there's a chance that the release date they listed may or may not be correct. It might be a placeholder, but the one they gave us was August 18th of this year, which actually puts it still kind of in the summertime, obviously. It's still in the summer in August. And that would actually put it at a decent time for Splatoon 2, since they are trying to, you know, divide up their releases. You can't release everything at once, obviously. Uh, I was thinking Splatoon might come a little earlier in the summertime, since that is going to be a big push for their online service. However, it still would give them time to beta test their online service through Splatoon 2 before they start to try to charge for it. Splatoon, I assume, will be a big online game for Nintendo. That, Mario Kart, more than likely, those will be some of the bigger ones. And they need to get their online service, obviously, ironed out big time. Splatoon 2 is the way to go. Uh, if it comes out in August, I think that's still a good time. It'll get it on shelves for Christmas and everything, obviously. And it'll just give us that steady stream of releases for the Switch. I still don't know how likely this rumor is, considering placeholder dates were all over the place for the Switch, and they were pretty much all wrong. They all told us basically later in March, and we get hit with March 3rd, so I don't know. I think August is a good month for the Splatoon 2, though, so I would look somewhere in August, probably the 18th. Who knows? I don't even think Nintendo knows exactly which day Splatoon 2 is coming out yet. And various, various reputable European retailers have started to basically list a game that a lot of us may be interested in, uh, depending on where you are with the Switch, and that's Pikmin Worlds. Now, we've been waiting for a new Pikmin game for a little while now. Ever since, obviously, Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, uh, a lot of the fans of that series have been waiting for the next one. Pikmin Worlds makes sense. I don't think you'd call it Pikmin 4 right away. It'd probably be called something like that. And it's basically up all over the different European sites. The one I'll show you here is from Intertoys. And again, these are not like small mom and pop like stores. These are actual like big chain stores usually that are putting this listing up. I think it's pretty obvious Pikmin's coming to the Switch. It's been rumored forever now. Uh, Pikmin Worlds is more of the title that is not really even surprising, I would say. So this rumor's probably pretty likely that it's showing up. There's no release date or anything, but Pikmin, I think, is almost... Is, is almost a guarantee on the Switch, probably this year. And in other news, there is a rumor going around, obviously, that Borderlands 3 is not coming to the Switch. In fact, the CEO, Randy Pitchford, basically came out and, and said, in response to a question about Borderlands 3, that he does not see it happening right now. And mostly that's because they were talking to Nintendo, but for some reason that stopped. Uh, he's just said that they have other priorities right now. Uh, and it's hard to say why Nintendo would not want Borderlands 3 unless they just don't see it selling on the Switch. I don't think it has anything to do with technical issues, considering they did manage to get Borderlands 2 on a much weaker Vita system compared to, obviously, 360 PS3 for that kind of that kind of game. And actually, Borderlands 3 was a game that I pretty much pegged as the Switch being able to play without much downgrading for the visuals or anything. So I am not really sure where Nintendo is with this. I figured that should have been a, a lock for them to get that moved over. I don't know what engine Borderlands runs on or anything like that. I don't think, again, it'd be a problem for them to run it. They just said that Nintendo has other priorities right now. Maybe they're talking more about, I don't know, uh, Skyrim moving over or they're really in talks with other third parties. It's hard to say at this point why they would not have Gearbox software bring it over. Again, unless unless there's something going on we don't know, maybe they're holding it off for a surprise, but the way the CEO Randy sounds, it doesn't it doesn't sound like that's the case. So unfortunate news for Nintendo not to pull this game in. And this is a really, really big rumor going around. A lot of this I'm gonna have to kinda go over a little more in another video because it kinda goes back to the Foxconn leak that is proving to be more and more true as we go along and things are kind of revealed. But one of the big things that was in that Foxconn leak, other than the Switch itself, is that they were talking about kind of a like supplemental computing device or even a dev kit they're creating for them to try that out. And the way they described it, a person over on the NeoGAF forums has started talking about and trying to piece together a puzzle as to what they're using, and they've come out basically to a determination that they are using a GTX 1060 at, for that dev kit. And again, this is kind of going off of that uh, Foxconn uh, leak out of China where they said that they were a Foxconn factory worker 
basically building the switch you know putting things together for it and they they kind of came across a lot of the components of course and this dev kit that they were talking about is supposed to be essentially being used to determine if the switch i guess would eventually be doing something like 4k this would be their their 4k answer uh that way they don't have to sell an entirely new system with the switch they can sell you what would essentially be a powered dock. This also goes back to their old patents where they were talking about having basically a daisy chained uh, supplemental computing device to the system, then going to the TV. In this case, I think it would then turn into essentially the form factor of that dock. Maybe it'd be a little wider or taller. It's hard to say. This is again, uh, something that is so far off probably. Now, most of these companies, they work on different hardware, software, ideas constantly in fact i bet you we probably see about 10 percent of those things come to fruition and actually go to market so there's probably all kinds of crazy stuff behind the scenes with sony microsoft uh anybody nintendo hp anybody you could think of that manufactures hardware probably does all kinds of crazy stuff behind the scenes in their r d and their 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 engineering rooms that we just don't know about so there's a chance that this might just be something they're trying out and maybe it never sees the light of day I don't think, if this is the case, I don't think it would make games vastly different because keep in mind the whole point of the Switch is that you can also play it portably. So games would have to at least be able to run in 720 on that handheld uh, as well as on the dock if they do then push it to 4K. However, things like frame rates could become better, maybe, in, maybe undocked it is 30 frames, maybe docked at 60 frames. Of course, maybe you push 4K through that. It's hard to say. I mean, there's so much stuff out there that they're talking about here on NeoGAF that is so much speculation. It's insane. I mean, we're speculating from a rumor where the person is looking at everything and then speculating further. So it's 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 kind of a wash there. It's it's a little crazy to think about, like I said, but it's I would I would be shocked if we saw a dock that had extra computing power before like 2019. Like I think it's that far off still. So if you are getting the Switch and you're concerned about Rockstar possibly not bringing any games to the system, uh, you may be surprised here soon. So an insider for Rockstar games, at least they say they are, they have had things right in the past, especially with things like DLC for GTA Online, things like that has come out. Their name is Yan2295. This is a handle on Twitter. And they actually put a tweet out that said, according to what I heard, Rockstar may be releasing a remastered version of LA Noir on the Nintendo Switch. And this is interesting because a lot of reports have come out saying that Rockstar has pretty much grown wary of Nintendo's practices with third parties where Nintendo will be pretty hard on them to make sure usually that, you know, the games are like really good they're not like a lot of bugs in them or anything and they're pretty strict with them as well with certain guidelines i don't think rockstar likes that considering the kind of games they make they like to be very uh they like to push the envelope a lot obviously i mean they are the creators of grand theft auto um, but still i mean manhunt 2 made it to the wii so i do still think nintendo is willing to work with companies like rockstar to bring these games to the systems and i think think if this rumor is correct, LA Noir is probably a kind of a test the waters for Rockstar. They don't have to put a lot of work into obviously porting it over and then kind of see how Nintendo's practices are now as compared to maybe when they put out Chinatown Wars, for example, on the DS. Now there's no def definitive date as to when this will be coming out. However, it looks like they are hopefully shooting for this year again, like later on this year, probably closer to like September is what the insiders are saying. Later on in the year, probably not anywhere near summer or anything, maybe even pushed into 2018. But I assume Ellie Noir would not be as tough to port as, say, GTA 5. I know we all want GTA 5 moved over to the Switch because GTA 5 portably would be really cool. But I think if Ellie Noir does well on the Switch, or at least it Rockstar can work easier with Nintendo they'll be more inclined probably to move GTA 5 over. I don't know about Red Dead Redemption because that's that seems to be like something they're already well into for the obviously Xbox One and the PS4, but GTA 5 at least would be really cool if they move that over. So our next rumor comes from Liam Robertson. He's been an inside kind of insider leaker with other stuff in the past proven to be right quite a few times and he's basically saying now that mario odyssey 
actually is finished and could have made that launch window if they needed it to. Now, looking at the footage, whether they were showing us older footage or more recent footage from the game, I still think there's some stuff that they're going to basically tidy up with the game, especially now knowing that they're not bringing it out till holiday. Maybe they wanted a little more time to either refine it or maybe Nintendo just wants to hold it until the holidays. That way they have a game that they can put out that is very polished because if they have all the way until like November to work on it, they're going to keep working on it. They're not going to just finish. Even if the core gameplay is done, they'll do things like try to introduce bloom effects or, or even just ali anti-aliasing and stuff around the edges just to make it look better. But really, again, you don't, I don't think they need Zelda and Mario at launch. They need something for the holidays. Mario makes sense. Maybe Pokemon, this rumored Pokemon game makes it for the holidays. All of a sudden you have a pretty stellar, very strong holiday lineup to help push these Switch systems out the door. Nintendo seems to be playing a different game this generation by staggering their releases. And it, I think it'll pay off for them in the future. I just think a lot of people, obviously fans who want to play Mario, are more annoyed, but they should understand from a business practice that it's not a good idea to put everything out at once and then leave people with a dry spell. I mean, that's what happened to the Wii U. And that's it for Rumor Wave today, guys. Very Switch heavy because the Switch is so popular and in the news right now. Everybody's doing rumors and leaks still, even after that big presentation, and we'll probably still get them after the system is out and we're moving forward from there. So, uh, guys, I will see you next time.